What's going on everybody? This is just gonna be a quick tutorial, but during this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Bevel Pro, which is the Bevel uh, Clipper slash Trimmer, just to try to give you a good look on how it cut. It's gonna be a quick shadow fade, as you can see, just, this is the dialing up and down to get the blade right. I'm gonna start by putting the number one guard on and just taking down some of the bulk, just so I can show you how, how smooth it does cut. This clipper is a great clipper. Um, it's not really practical for everyday use as a barber, but it is a good product, very good product. We're just taking down the bulk, getting everything clear. Uh, so once we get into that fade, we won't have any mess in the way. And, uh, what I'm gonna do is start with it all the way open. As you can see it takes a second for it to go up and down but we're going to start with it all the way open and just start a shadow fade uh, a low shadow fade and here we're going to put the number one guard on uh as y'all know, I usually don't show the hard line fade method, but just so I can show y'all how the zero guard does cut, I'm gonna go in with the one guard all the way closed first and just put in that hard guideline. Um, and just, I'm gonna go ahead and get the one guard and uh, fade everything above that, that zero line that y'all will see left in. As you can see, everything cuts pretty smooth. I'm trying to show as much of the natural uh, cut on this side just so y'all can see the time frame of putting on a guard, closing the clipper all the way, making sure that you're looking at the number. That's the one thing I didn't like about this clipper. I don't like about the clipper is having to get it just right uh, and you have to keep looking at the number. As you can see, I opened it up to the half guard or the halfway on the uh, on the bevel pro and i'm just gonna fade up the highest guard that i will use on here is a one but open so i'm just gonna open it up all the way and go ahead and knock out that uh that darkness Here we are with the zero, zero guard, I had it all the way open, so I'm gonna close it all the way down to zero. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you all the way close, just getting out that line. I do wish every now and then on certain cuts with this clipper, I had to go in between uh, different levels with a uh, different clipper. Uh, as you can see with this zero guard, it cuts fine but it just leaves a little faint line that you will have to go back and, you know, use a Rebel or a Wall uh, Magic Clip or Andes Mask or whatever clipper that you mainly use and just tap at that line just a little bit just to give it a smoother transition in the fade. As you can see me just looking down, opening it using my corner still using the corner of the blade to get that the, the dark spots out that i can we're going to move it to the other side the other side same process um all the way open to start with the shadow fade but on this side i did go ahead and use my regular method of the zero guard close zero half zero open then going up to the one guard you know same same process of all the way close halfway all the way open Thank you. 
but we're gonna go to the back I didn't show the full back um, on this cut it's the same process the main thing that I did want to show is with the since on the back of his his uh, neck area I did zero it out and uh, ball taper the back out so I did want to at least let y'all see the the bald or the all the way close line that you can put in with this bevel pro again this bevel pro is 329 it's on pre-order at the moment i did a full review uh i will leave the link down below in the description the full review of this clipper I'm just showing you the opening and closing the buttons are not sensitive at all so you won't mess up while you cutting when you holding it here we are just closing it all the way down and just putting in that ball line in the back to show you that it's it, you know I don't zero gap the clipper I mean I just use them as they come you know especially starting off with and I don't know I don't know actually how to zero gap it if you need to any more than it what it already is but uh, we just fade up into it starting with it all the way closed halfway open then we open all the way just to get a clean fade uh, going into that taper area and here we are here just trade I'm gonna go ahead and do the lineup because this is a clipper slash trimmer show you how quick it is to actually put the blade on uh, take the blade off and on it all it is all the way closed but also with the the trimmer blade you can open it up all the way and close it which is good especially if you don't necessarily need it zero gap you want to open it up just a little bit on the sensitive area or uh maybe cutting on kids but this is all the way closed uh it seems it seems weird saying all the way closed on the trimmer blade but it is all the way closed we're gonna go to the front he doesn't have the strongest hairline, but I did want to show y'all that this blade, fresh out the box, is, is great. As you can see, it's a tap and go. I did nothing to this trimmer. This is directly as they sent it to me, all, like I said, all the way closed. And it's not, it's not irritating. It's not scratching the skin. It's, 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 a, it's a really good trimmer. I think Bevel did a great job overall on a on a product on the clipper side and trimmer side and and even with the blades the machine is great but the blazes are, are, are amazing as well as you can see i face him to the front and like i said he doesn't have the best hairline but i did want to show y'all the tap and go uh with this bevel pro trimmer So like I said, this is pretty much the finished uh, product of the cut. You know, I appreciate you for watching, but I did just want to give y'all a full review, a full cut using the Bevel Pro. Um, I will be using it a little bit longer just to get a better full use of it. Uh, but that's it right there. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff that comes along with YouTube. And make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Cuts by Reggie. And uh, we'll be back with another one. Peace.